over a million people a year get sick from insecticide poisoning, and half of them are kids. Uh, it, it, I really would like to see a lot more publicity on the insecticide uh, downside of it. Uh, there's, there's, sometimes it's a necessity, uh, but uh, you got to be extremely careful uh, because uh, too many kids are getting sick. Paul Goss from Bristow, Oklahoma, uses his creative power to kill bugs. He makes this bug powder. But it isn't like any other bug powder. This is all natural, made from completely non-toxic household items. It's safe enough to use in your garden, on your pets. That's about all that's needed in an area. It doesn't take much. And to prove how safe it is, Goss says when it comes to the hard cell, he just dips his finger in and eats it. It's FDA approved as a inert food ingredient. And then all the other stuff, the baking soda, flour, salt, that's in our food now. You know, a little teaspoon in your coffee every morning, it's, it's great, you know. I had a, a real large garden, and my wife said, uh, don't put any, any uh, poison on it. Uh, because, you know, we had the, the two daughters, uh, the dog, the cat, all that. And so I said, okay. Uh, of course, when you have a huge 2,000 square foot garden, all of a sudden she says, don't do this. And you're like, uh, okay. <laughs> And then I started using the food grade diatomaceous earth. And it's just a eight micron uh, powder. It, it does work uh, on uh, certain bugs, but not a lot of them. And so I did some more research on different bugs, caterpillars, cabbage worms, grasshoppers, uh, mice, they can't burp. So I said, well, I'll put some uh, baking soda in there. And I got that baking soda and mixed it with the diatomaceous earth and put it on the cabbage. And I had two cabbage worms and they just fell off, you know, in about 15 minutes. Then I uh, knew about the fly, uh, salt and that kills snails, slugs, stuff like that. So I put that in. And then uh, the smaller bugs, uh, I put flour in and that'll suffocate them. I do a lot of different experiments. I'm always doing uh, something. <laughs> <laughs>